yes and no. I mean, I see what you're getting at with like, oh, they're trying to poke with their aerials. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they're gonna hit the grenade a lot, and a lot of times, what you want to do against Snake is grab him when he pulls a grenade and shields yeah. or something. And it's kind of hard for sword characters to gain that range of grabbing when they're so focused on spacing their yeah. sword. Yeah. Like, with another character, for example, like a Palutena or an Inkling, they can kind of be ambiguous if they're gonna hit your shield with an aerial, mm -hmm. or they're going to And funny enough, those are characters that actually can give Snake some trouble, yeah. too. Th I say that in my own personal experience, <laughs> those are characters I play, but... Um, they can be ambiguous if they're going to, and Snake's more forced to shield and guess correctly. Yeah. Whereas against the sword character like Lucina, Snake's having this mindset of, well, if he's drifting away with the aerial, then I know that he's going to be going for a fair, and yeah. I can punish that. Or if he's getting close, I know he's going to try and tomahawk or grab me. Exactly. And I can spot dodge and F tilt or up tilt or something. Uh, speaking of, oh, I'm glad you answered that question. Now I feel more knowledgeable. Uh, I do want to educate both players, uh, both players here. It is going to be Ketchup versus Arrow. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a funny matchup because this is like, I think Ketchup has a pretty, like a 2-1 lead on Arrow based off W and F. Uh, the few times Arrow has entered W and F, Ketchup has able to get the better of him. The one thing though for Arrow is now it's MSM, so maybe that'll change, but who knows with the way that Ketchup is leaning here to 90%. Arrow has yet to have barely even scathed this man, but finally he's able to grab the Mecha Koopa. Ketchup and just chase him. That was the most aggressive drift I've ever seen from the, like, eject button on the up there. there. Because it's like, you're yeah. vulnerable up there, you got your swing, but, like, you usually drift away, but Ketchup just had no fear, flew into Arrow, and Arrow wasn't ready for it, got hit. Yeah. And then that's kind of the Ketchup bait right there, is he throws out that forward smash at ledge, it ends, and you think, I have time to get up attack that. You don't. He will shield it and jab you at the ledge, and it's like a frame three or four jab, and it kills. Yeah. Oh. The fact that like um, the fact that this character is rapid jab actually kills is pretty insane too. I that just that was like the most interesting buff for the character, but I mean the character does have some troubles. Um for Arrow, he's definitely facing a lot of the troubles as being like main. You do have a lot of great hitboxes, you do have a lot of great projectiles running though. But when an opponent can outspeed you and outpace you, you, you do suffer a lot. And then you get to see how AC's I'm sorry, not AC, I'm sorry, Ketchup's pace. It's definitely destroying a lot of what Arrow is trying to start off with his own tempo. Yeah, and the thing that I'm noticing is the only time Arrow's really had a chance to breathe is when Ketchup's pulling out the Mecha Koopas. Yeah. From talking to him, it's somewhere around, it's around, I don't remember the exact number, it's like six a full 60 frames, frames of yeah. lag. So that's your full second of if you see him going for the Mecha Koopa, that's when you have to try and get aggressive shoot an arrow or something across the stage. Right? Yeah, and you see that AC is very, oh, rough tech there on the stage. And that's such a hard one too because you can bomb recovery, but the way that PS2 works in specific, you have to be very cautious just because of the tech situation you get sent into. For a for Ketchup, he's very cautious too when he also goes for Mega Koopa because he's always doing it when he has a lot of advantage. He goes, cool, I'm winning, let me win some more, yep. send out Mega Koopa, and then bring that all together. And, and it's not like a lot of times players will be like, okay, I got my hit, I'll reset neutral and pull out my projectile. Mm -hmm. But it's like, that's kind of what Ketchup does, but when Ketchup does it, you know he, there's nothing more Junior could do a chase down there. Exactly. A lot of times it's, oh, I don't know if I could keep chasing, so I'm going to do the safety and get my projectile away. But Ketchup is so consistent with his combos here. What was oh, that? That was crazy because he went for the full side special. Oh, that's so rough, too, because if Arrow went for a roll, he would have had to worry about Mecha Koopa. Ketchup's reaction, the cannonball itself. And then the fact that like you're still rolling from the ledge, which potentially could lead you in a really bad situation. Yeah, uh, Ketchup had a lot of trap for that. Yeah, he did. That was that was crazy. Yeah, I mean Ketchup has been so incredibly consistent the past few times too. Yeah. Like you look at this matchup on paper and you think, oh, well, Bowser Jr. Like Link must do super well in that matchup because it's so hard for Jr. to deal with projectiles. But Ketchup specifically has been so incredibly talented at dealing with these projectile characters that went over Dom a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, he's playing incredibly well this set as well, where he's found a way to, even though, you know, you kind of on paper think he's going to be flying at you with the side B a lot, just like that, and projectiles should stop it. He's done a great job of actually mixing up his approach options, forcing his opponents into shield so they can't try and fight out of it. Yeah, the thing here too is he's also good at calling out one of Link's favorite tools is Boomerang. You do get stuck in some end lag there, and for Ketchup to go for that side special, he'll catch Link in the ending animation, 
and then he'll punish Link for going for Boomerang, which he's mostly comfortable right with. And that forward air is a great way to challenge him. But Arrow is doing a lot better this game than last game. And that's a bit about having two games to play with. You have the ability to adapt, and it looks like Arrow has been able to make some kind of download here and, and taking things against catch up. I think the stage is also doing a lot. Town and City, one of the bigger stages in our list. Yeah. Um, and I think that's doing a lot, giving Arrow a lot more room to actually run back, set up his projectile zone. Where in the last game, PS2 is not by any means a small stage, mm -hmm. but it is smaller than Town, and you know maybe that difference is doing enough for Arrow on this game. Exactly. The one thing that we are starting to see too is that by having that bigger stage, he's able to utilize Bomb a lot more. He utilizes at the ledge, right? Pulls out Bomb, goes for reverse up B. Z drops the Bomb so that you know, he knows Ketchup is down there. He can still get Ketchup, but look at the way that Arrow is just able to use projectiles much more comfortably here. He yeah. has that much of a difference between this game and last game with how comfortable he's gotten all together. Good for catch-up though, still calls that out. The other thing I'm curious about about the stage itself is that was crazy that catch-up went for that. I'll get back to that. <laughs> but what I want to say is that on the PS2 game, we saw catch-up oftentimes spawning the Mecha Koopa from under the platform mm -hmm. because it's so hard to jump in on characters while they're standing on a platform. But he doesn't have that, at least not consistently on this stage. We yeah. see him go to the FD variation. Even on this variation, there's not a lot of room to hide and get a projectile ready. Oh, good for Arrow. Goes for Boomerang and then sets up that empty hop just to try to read out something from Ketchup and make one of the options here. But Ketchup gets immediately in with this full cart and he has oh. him at the ledge. That's so scary because he was literally just a couple one or two arrows away from being sent up to the skies. That's good for Arrow. He sends a bomb really high now because he wants to stop Ketchup from being so comfortable in the air that way. That catch up will have to start anticipating. Cool, if I do go for this upbeat, I have to worry about Bomb potentially killing me as well. All right, Arrow, that's good. So, when you, that's good. He's able to go to the other side. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I thought crazy. Arrow just has to eat. No, I, I had a feeling he was going to go for the Bomb recovery to go for the other side. Because he knows Ketchup has so much setup there, I want to get somewhere else. The best way to do it, Bomb recovery myself. Yeah, trade a little percent. It's like you're playing Hearthstone. Life, yeah. life is a resource, right? Exactly. As long as you don't die, it doesn't matter how much damage you take. Sometimes in a lot of video games, man, life is a resource is one of the ultimate winning winning tools. And yeah, for Arrow to pull that out. Definitely like something players like, it's so unintuitive to think about it like that. Because you're like, oh, I want to survive as long as possible. And to do that, I don't take damage. But it's like, as long as you survive with one health, you win the game. Yeah. Survival, basically survival of the fittest. Oh no. So that was good for Arrow. He went for the up smash, just anticipating, okay, cool, AC, I'm sorry. Ketchup has been gotten so comfortable going for side special. The fact that he might go for a full combo here, I might as well punish him for it. But Ketchup this time, he actually changes that up for a full cross of this. So that's good, he's mixing up his options. Yeah, I mean, we do see Ketchup off in like hitting the shield and then jumping out of the side B, so maybe that's what mm. the up smash was supposed to catch. Exactly. Unfortunately for Arrow, Ketchup actually went for the variation with oh. where it goes through. All right, Z-Drop, that's good too, because if the one thing he knows about Ketchup is he likes to go for that low recovery, just how good it is for Bowser Jr. So he wanted to punish that, but man, Arrow's being sent out all places here. It goes for that up B, oh, but no. not enough height. Ketchup with a two stock and a two O over Arrow. Good stuff to catch up though.